Guess what this video is about. Hmm. Hey guys and girls, Shady Mate UK, and just gonna do a couple of things in this video. First of all, it's gonna be uh, a review of the knife that I got today. I've been uh, wearing it since I got it. The uh, Newton Martin designed Focal Plus K bit. Um, and then after that, I'm going to be doing a, a shout out and a thank you, a thank you video to uh, someone who's just awesome. So stick around for that. Anyway, as promised, this is the Boca Plus Newton Martin K bit. Uh, when I opened it, I didn't have any specs, um, so I thought I'd quickly grab those. Uh, I will. Hold it up for you so you can have a peek. Camera's not great, so uh, I apologize for that. Great design, though. I really like this. Almost like uh, well, wheel uh, wheel juggle knives. Uh, is the only other person I've seen do a review of this, and he kind of hit it on the head. It's got that kind of internal mechanics kind of gear look to it. Um, really, really good in the forward grip. Uh, you can choke up on it as well. Really comfy. Uh, like I said before in my unboxing video, uh, reverse grips not really going to work. It's kind of uncomfortable. Just just doesn't feel secure. But, you know, for quick deployment from the neck, bang, it's there, it's secure, it's not going anywhere. Um, and I really like it. So, specs, 4 inches overall, uh, 1 and 5 eighths of an inch blade, and uh, we're looking at 1.5 ounces, and it's titanium coated 440C, which it says on the back, but you probably can't see. Shitty webcam, my apologies. Uh, the box that it comes in. I mentioned as well. I really like this. I've seen other people do Boca Plus reviews. Uh, the anti MCs and the anti grabs tend to come in boxes like this. Nice kind of black cardboard box with the silver graphic on, and inside you've got the preformed cut foam. Everything sits in there really nicely. Uh, the sheath it comes with is a simple pancake style kydex sheath on a, uh, a nice black ball chain uh, I think these have like a, a breaking limit of about 20 pounds 20 pound pull so uh, you know it's not going to fall off the retention is really good uh, it's easy to get in you know it's quite a good snap so you kind of know it's in there and you know when it's around your neck finger in or middle finger tends to work well as well Kind of grab and pull, and it's good to go. Uh, retail on these is about 50 bucks. Uh, I got this from SNR Knives, a company based uh, just on the outskirts of Toronto. Uh, retail on well, their their price they do this is about 34, just under 35 bucks I think. Uh, postage is 12 bucks, and uh, that was about six dollars worth of tax. So came to about 53 bucks um, but hey you know I really like it a couple of things I will say uh, it's great for penetrative cuts you know pushing and drawing um, would help if I had some paper around as you can see Kind of good for that kind of thing. Uh, I have run it over my uh, my Lansky four rod turn box uh, a bit because it came really kind of crap out of the box. Not very good for slicing at all. And after about 20 minutes of work, it's still not great. I mean, it's it starts and then it just tears. Even if you go fast, it doesn't. You know. But, you know, I think this is designed for push and draw cuts. 
not a great example of that, but you know, it excels at that, and I think that's what it was designed for. So, um, you know, happy enough. Uh, chisel grind, uh, roughly three sixteenths of an inch thick. Um, designed, like I said before, by uh, Newton Martin, who's got uh, a couple of other knives out. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. He does uh, a small one cliff folder through the Boca Plus line. Uh, Cutlery Lover's got a review of it up. Um, I was looking at that yesterday just to see what else this guy's done. Um, and he has a very kind of distinctive style, especially with the jimping. I I don't know if that's his input or if Boca have just decided to add that on, but um, the knives of his that I've seen kind of have this telltale kind of deep like semicircular jimping, and it works really well. Uh, it's not too aggressive, um, but you know it really locks you in there. Uh, it's not uncomfortable, um, and yeah, I just think I'm going to be using this to open a lot of boxes. And at one and a half ounces not very heavy at all like I said uh, I've had it on all day today and yeah at first you notice it but you know I, I a couple of times I forgot that I've even got it and I've looked around to wonder you know where did I put it and forget that it's on um, the signature that it leaves nothing really unless you're kind of leaning forwards it kinda of hangs down a bit but can't really see. I have it um, for right hand for a right hand draw. So the flat side is actually sticking out, whereas you know the formed side that's been pressed is actually against my chest. Uh, at first, I thought that would be kind of uncomfortable, but it's not at all. Like I said, you don't really notice it. So yeah. That is that. Boca Plus Newton Martin K bit. Um, yeah, I recommend it if you're after a kind of budget neck knife that can be used for, um, you know, a couple of EDC tasks. Not great for slicing and such, but you know, if you uh, open a lot of packages, it'd be uh, a nice alternative to having something in your pocket. Uh, On to the uh, the second segment of this video. And that's not a plug for this really nice Chinese Yan Jing beer that I found yesterday. Although it is really good. Ten bucks for a six pack, can't go wrong. Uh, this is going to be a huge thank you to uh, IMZ Ready For Anything. Uh, I came third in his uh, What The Fuck Shit Hit The Fan. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, yeah. Fuck it, we're all adults. Um, his contest that he did, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, like, like I said, I came third in that. Uh, I got a um, Gavco's old uh, Cold Steel Mini Tough Light, as well as a, uh, a Streamlight Nano Light. Tiny little, tiny little thing. I've actually been looking at some reviews of that today, and it looks really good. Uh, that'll fit nicely on my keychain and replace my little. Uh, push button LED kids party pack torch that I've been using um, and one of uh, one of his uh, huge assortments of goodies to uh, repair any holes and slices you put in yourself when you're out in the woods um, and that will be really handy in my pack especially when I like climbing uh, so many times I you know cut myself up or I tear my hands and to have something like that is going to be really helpful um, after that after he dished out all the prizes, he then went on to say that everyone who entered into his contest, he's going to make a custom knife for. Um, you know, no major specifics. He he gave you a kind of a couple of ideas of uh, a theme you could go with. Um, I went for I asked for like a, a tactical theme knife. I'm interested to see what he comes up with. Um, but you know, he also offered like a bushman kind of knife, a wilderness knife, uh, a small EDC knife. So really looking forward to seeing. Uh, how he gets on with that and then if that wasn't enough you know at the beginning of his video I was just happy with the shout out but you know shout out 
win a prize, then he's making everyone a custom knife, and then, right at the end, uh, he kind of stopped and threw in uh, three cobalt drill bits, because uh, I've been making such a mess of the, uh, of the drilling in my 01 steel. Uh, pretty much broken all the drill bits of the sizes that I would like to use. So those are going to be invaluable. Um, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. So if you're watching, bro, which I'm sure you will, two thumbs up. Uh, if you aren't IMZ ready for anything uh, and you're watching this and you don't know who he is or you haven't subbed his channel, go and do it right now. Or uh, I'll hunt you down and. Mm. Yeah, I won't be too aggressive. I'll tickle you until you go and uh, that just sounds gay. Scrap that, just sub him please, because he's a really nice guy. And uh, he's only made, I think he said he's made about three custom blades. So he's new, so it's, he's taken on a lot to uh, make 14 or offer to make 14 custom knives for people just for entering into his contest. So, um, yeah, hit the guy up, he's, uh, he's a great bloke. Anyway. Over 11 minutes, as usual. More waffle. Got beer though, so it's bearable for me. I'm going to uh, slap this back on and uh, let you go about your day. Take care, guys.